Okay, so in the work environment, if you've got a difficult person that's doing either difficult or abusive behavior, how do you handle that? Well, it depends on what is the, uh, the spiritual lesson that's coming up. So let's say someone's uh, being abusive. You can only handle them uh, at the level of consciousness you're at. And the lower your level of consciousness that you try to handle them with, the more problems you'll get. So Hawkins talks about power versus force. So let's say uh, your manager's um, bullying you and victimizing you and you're in fear and anger. Uh, so you're at a low vibration. You're full of fear and anger. Uh, so the only you resort to ego force. You know, you shout and scream at him and threaten him uh, from that level because you've, you haven't resolved any of your fears or resentments. So usually when you try and uh, come from a low vibration to try and intervene with someone who's bullying you or controlling you or being nasty, then uh, usually the situation just stays unmanageable. Or Because when you try and force someone to change, they'll try and force back, they'll try and push back. So it's a low vibration. So the first thing I do, if there's a, someone who's doing something, you want to transcend it, is uh, and, uh, if you've got the time, is to try and increase your level of consciousness by uh, transcending your grievances and resentments and fears around the individual. So if I try and deal with an individual who uh, seems to be abusive from fear and anger, uh, there, you know, it's not a high spiritual state. It won't invite miracles. And in fact, it's more likely to have a, a kickback as, uh, you know, you're trying to force him with the with that low vibration and he'll try and force back with some equal equal vibration. So I'll be praying and try, transcending and praying for a miracle to see him differently and making him meaningless and, and doing the anti-karma prayer, pray for forgiveness for the one in me who in past lifetimes has bullied and abuse my employees. Uh, so I'd be doing the anti-karma prayer as well, that uh, the universe has uh, deemed it necessary for me to go through this and pray for forgiveness on that sense. Um, and then um, I would like to interact with him when I'm in a higher vibration, uh, hopefully not fear and anger. Uh, if I can get to neutrality, it might not be practical, you haven't got enough time to do the work, but if I can get to neutrality, I'll have far, far more spiritual power to deal with him, and I'll have much more inspiration from spirit in what words to do. And he'll be less, he'll be more likely to agree with me because I'm not coming from that low energy or ego force. I'll be coming more from a neutral, uh, neutral diplomatic level. Uh, the miracles start happening when I've transformed my, I've transformed my perception that he's a bully or a bad person. And I need to either run away or attack him. Uh, so then you invite the miraculous then. I've had many situations where I've prayed with difficult individuals where I'll get something like, quite often for me, I mean, I, throughout my life, I'll often get, like, I call them like white knights. People will come in and intervene and resolve the situation once uh, I'm in a good place around it. It's like the universe will provide aid. If I've done enough spiritual work in the situation, the person will leave, another person will come and intervene on my behalf. Or uh, another thing that can happen is if I do enough spiritual work, there's a lot of work, spiritual work, sometimes the relationship will just automatically transform uh, because uh, sometimes when they see, see that you're not affected by what they're doing and that you actually have love and compassion for them and you're not afraid of them, they suddenly start to to change as well. So, um, so how do you deal with it? It depends on the situation. Sometimes the lesson is, spiritually that you have to stand up and have courage uh sometimes is you just let them go at each level of consciousness wherever the spiritual student is is a different lesson at um, at a certain let's say at 300 if uh, let's say at uh, at the level of willingness you might get that situation with the bullying boss it might be actually to have courage and and uh, and to do a lot of spiritual work and speak speak and say something at another level uh, if you're working on 500 to 600, if you're working from love to enlightenment, it might be to, to say, look, I'll just let the karma of the universe, uh, let the boss do what he, he does. Also, my ego will do what it does. I'm not attached to what my ego does or says in response and how this all plays out. This is all under karmic law. 
under spiritual laws. It'll just happen the way it is. I don't need to worry about it. I just need to stay in the infinite states. So it just depends on where you're at and um, what the spiritual lesson the universe is asking you to do. Is it to say something? Uh, is it to do a lot of spiritual work? Is it to leave? Or is it to transcend it and do nothing? I can give you a story from my own um uh, uh, my own thing which was like um you know like i would see um pigeons i used to i used to bring in pigeons into the house that were distressed or disabled or babies or whatever and look after them when i was younger i used to have you know bring in loads of pigeons and um the other day i saw this baby pigeon and i said should i take it home and look after it and i go it just didn't seem appropriate at this stage of my journey uh to be a pigeon dad and so um I gave it some food and prayed for it and, and walked walked on by. Um, now, that could be right or wrong, but, you know, it depends on what spiritual level you are. Sometimes the, sometimes the lesson is to intervene, and sometimes the lesson is just to allow things to be and let the universe handle it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, the, uh, uh, that's the 